I had known about all the paperwork that you need, like registering your address and um, yeah, like just different things you need to do to open a bank account or to get a phone contract. So if I, I wish if I could go back in time and redo it, I wish I had did some more research in advance. And back in those days, there weren't so many blogs and websites out there to help you. Um, so that's part of the reason I also blog about life in Berlin and some of the things, challenges that you face here, like how to find an apartment, and tips and tricks, just to try to help others. I don't remember the exact word, but there was something that one of the German accounts posted, like they do like a word a day or something, and I forget the exact word, but it was a translation for lower back tattoo, in that it literally translates into like ass antlers or something. So I thought that was really funny, um, but I don't remember the exact word, but sometimes learning some of those expressions are really funny. Not really, but I think in 2011 there was a song, and I forget who the artist is, I refer to it in one of my blog posts, but it was this girl singing that everyone moves to Berlin, and it was this really catchy, happy song, and I really kind of connect that with Berlin because it, she was definitely singing about the appeal, like so many people want to move here, and they do, and it's just increasing more and more, so I really like that song. Yeah, so when I arrive at a new destination, the first thing I like to do is just go to the hotel, get rid of all my stuff, and grab my camera and uh, my notebook, and then just start exploring right away. Um, I don't waste any time, I just go. Yeah, um, lots of places, but probably, maybe, probably because I've been in Germany the longest, Germany was the biggest culture shock, so doing things like going to the German sauna for the first time. And I grew up in a pretty conservative household, so going to the sauna as like a North American person and having to be naked in front of other people was definitely a really interesting experience, but a very freeing one and a very positive one. One of the things that I notice right away every time I go home is how nice Canadians are. I'm originally from Toronto and even within moments of being at the airport, someone will bump into you and say sorry and I'm like, wow, like people are so nice because in Berlin people are a little bit more, um, not always, but a little bit more rough and you know, if you bump into someone, they'll scream at you versus say, oh, sorry. So yeah. I miss the friendliness of Canadians sometimes. Well, sometimes it depends on flight sales, so my destinations can often be like unpredictable. Um, I've been traveling alone for several years now, so I probably prefer to travel alone the most because I really kind of like not being constrained by like what other people want to do and I like traveling with friends sometimes as well but I just have a lot of fun taking a break from work and life and going somewhere by myself and just exploring and wandering and, and having a good time so yeah definitely going by myself right now is the most fun way. I really liked the um, the bookstore in Venice which has all its books placed in boats and bathtubs to save for when the store floods with water. And they even have a few resident cats and I'm a cat person. So it's a really cool place to hang out. And the one that I really, really like is in Bucharest, the one that's opened within the past few years. And it's just in this really beautiful old building and it's so nicely designed that you can easily just spend hours wandering through it. And they have a cafe and you can sit and have a coffee and read a book that you buy. And I think that's definitely my favorite so far. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, no, I have no idea. Um, because my life has been one crazy adventure, a really good adventure, so maybe you can call it one crazy adventure. 
there's plenty of people I'd love to receive a postcard from, but to receive one from the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, would be really awesome. I like winter better, um, which sounds really weird, but the recent heat wave in Berlin was a little bit too much, and I like winter better. I like how when the snow falls and it looks really beautiful and everything's kind of like slow and quiet. I don't know, it just appeals to me a bit more. Uh, suitcase always. Uh, savory. Night owl. Um, oh, that's really tough. I like both, but I like wine more. Cat. <laughs> uh, city.